<clears throat> Greetings, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Howling Alpha, the host, Alpha Three. In this video, we managed, Monokuma managed actually to bribe us with a motive of $10 million. Still don't know who exactly would do that. So we're just going to go kick it off here and see what, how the story continues and see if Alter Ego, hi, ladies. Lovely to see y'all. Can see if Alter Ego can get, shine some light on our situation. So if you like this, sorry, if you like this series, leave a like on the video. Let me know, and you two know that y'all enjoy my content. And yeah, still let me know who you think is your favorite Danganronpa character so far. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. Oh man, I can only imagine conversate whatever conversation is gonna go on every day with these characters. Could it be? How the heck did Soccer and Hina manage to get in here? With before I did. They were in the hallway uh, to the dorms when I passed them, so magic. So the people here today are the same as yesterday, even on just us seven. Mm -hmm. Yaku and Toko are lost cause, but it looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good too. Aw, Taka. Yeah. It's just, it's just like he's given up. <laughs> for people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Hmm. On another topic, Kyoko, did you... Did any... In, on another topic, Kyoko, did anything go alright last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went to check on the laptop a little while ago and there wasn't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, to hesitate but... <sighs> it's related to this case... So I suppose it should be I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a few a new rule using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have had thought that that would have been obvious. Why don't we need to make a rule about it? Well. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on the matter for me? Oh. Mm, um. No. Just like you said, we all need to be very careful. Why are you huh? panting like that, huh? Say what? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have to stand around all fl 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 flapping our lips. What? What? Jeez, what are you talking about? Like you're all pissed, drill pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden. Because he wants to go talk to... What the frick did I just zone out on Hero? That was weird. We ate breakfast in a rush and headed to our rooms. Fumi just would act a little weird. I think he just wanted to go because of the whole 2D thing and... Alter Ego and all that. He's probably fascinated. He's probably been in and out of the dressing room. Uh, my guess is why she wanted to make it pro permission prohibited kind of thing. What should I do today? Ah uh, yes, free time. We get to talk to two people per day because we are a lazy, non-active high school student. Alright, who we see today? Hey, Taka, let's talk to you. You haven't even showed up for dinner. Or dining hall. There we go. No? Nothing? Yeah, I think I should hang out with him. I kept an eye on the half-conscious Taka. Did I... Hey, we grew a little closer today. We didn't talk about anything. Sure. What would you like to give him? I don't think I have anything for you, buddy, but, um... Uh, do you full quality enjoy as much as they think to a low price? Sure. Here you go. No response. Uh, well, that was a waste of time. I have no skill points or anything. Oh. Oh. Um, it sounds like someone's here. Okay. Oh! Hey! Taka! I wasn't expecting him. I thought he was just like ignoring me. Ah. Uh, uh, what? Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? Uh, uh, He's still alive? No, not quite. Hmm. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said that we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so. I just can't leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? 
Yeah, let's go. Come on, Taka. I'll show you. Hey, can I have permission? Permission, girl? Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his condition. Kyoko seemed... Look... Kyoko looked at Taka standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or the warehouse or something. Correct. Well, then, I guess that's okay. I thought... I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. She knows we're... Oh, look, Jill's over there. Alright, come here, Taka. We completely lied to her, but, um, this is it. Okay, so, there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? In the laptop there is a program called Alt Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? Huh? Well, you just... You just tell me what you want to say, and I'll type it for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? Oh, oh, he's bearing that... Ooh. Guilt. It was clear he wasn't forcing himself to get those words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart. He forced his weaken weakness voice to make that sound. Hmm. Please? Okay. I've typed the question exactly as Taka is asking, and then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think that would... This is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but I can still survive and escape all of you. That's true, hey Taka. I was about to say more, but he quickly closed his he, I quickly closed my mouth. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Ooh, smart. Analyzing all available data, this is the only conclusion I can come up to. Um. Master told me how close Taka and Manda had become, so this must be why he feels responsible. The third suddenly went dark. What happened next was... Stop fucking around! <coughs> oh, Mondo! Mondo's an AI too? You're not letting yourself get crushed under those weights of responsibility, are you? G Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he carries. He can carry. You get it. Right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. That's... So? I'm sorry I startled you. That was my attempt of a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured that Taka was depressed and that's kind of thing Mondo would have to say to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait till things get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge in your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that's the kind of mediocre thing that might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? Ah. Uh. Uh. He starts laughing. Taka? Uh, oh. oh, okay. So he going Super Saiyan. It's starting to sink in. The way the buckle full of water sinks into the bone dry sponge. What? Uh, Taka? Uh, oh, jeez. Those words deep within my heart. They're inside me. Uh, oh, jeez. He changed his hair and everything. Okay. Taka? Uh, who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes, you. his hair, everything. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused a kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. I am a new me. Yeah. Ah, I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Okay, Taka, just calm down. What? I am calm. Don't you call me Taka. That, that's not my name anymore. Yeah. I'm me. Yeah. I am me. Oh, okay, he's... He lost it, guys. I don't know what to say. He just went like Super Saiyan, and now he's talking as if I don't know. I don't know anything. Taka. It's just so many Don the Rompo characters that just like out, just out there. Taka let out a bone chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on. I took after him, but someone stood in my way. Shoot. She is probably pissed off at me right now. As if tagging... T 
Taka out. She walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. Okay. Let's see. I know Kyoko isn't dumb. She probably knew exactly where we were heading. She probably knew we were lying to her. So we can't be stupid. Just tell her the truth. M Makoto, just tell her the truth. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko! I don't know. See, this is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay, yeah, she's, she's mad. She is real mad. Finally, I head back to my room, embarrassed, and the sullen. That's what you get when you lie. But still, what was with Taco freaking out? I'm seriously worried about him. Oh, it's already nighttime. That was a really short day. Okay, cool. No one killed anyone yet. Perfect. Hmm. <coughs> Mm hmm Yep, nighttime. Thank you. It's nighttime already? I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time to sleep. Mm-hmm. Morning, morning. Okay. Good morning announcement. Good. Thank you, thank you. All right. All right, I'll need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell anyone what happened with Taki yesterday. To the dining hall! Yes. Make my way downtown. I'm surprised there's no people out here. Usually there's like Toko right here or somebody. I guess everyone's waiting for me. I'm late. You know? Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. They went ahead. Went ahead to where? Hey, come we can talk on. about it later. For now, let's go to the bath. Bath. Oh. Okay, that. No! Someone help! Okay. And Fumi, what's going on? Look at all this Amy! I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now. What happened? What? She's trying to kill me! And Fumi pointed at. Kyo. She went. No. Kyoko is trying to kill you. <laughs> exactly. Huh. What, what's he going on about? <sighs> I've never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he, ma he made the same mistake twice. <laughs> same mistake twice? What did he do? So... He stuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night to and access Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing heavy. Oh. Okay. Huh? But what were you doing exactly? <laughs> I thought I made myself clear yesterday that since being subtle didn't work. Listen to me. I suppose I've had to clarify myself further. No! Please don't kill me! Wrong. I'm not gonna kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. Alright. I guess the conversation between them two, so. And Fumi, could you tell me what happened? Well, well, I just I just was talking. However. Which was prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean you see. Talking with her just so much fun, and I just... Uh, um... Whoa. Okay, time out. I can't even believe what I'm about to ask, but... Infumi, are you gonna tell us that you fell in love with some... or something, are you? <laughs> that I... the cold blood killing machine of an underworld? Would never fall in love, that's... Well, wait, wait, it wait. would is, seem... Is this love? According to the spirits... I had a psychic reading of a certain famous CEO once, and that guy was seriously head over heels for the mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? And your eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. You know nothing. Shut up! She's not a mannequin. She's an angel. I feel as if. I don't bother telling me angels exist, because we can't defy that the pretty words, petty words. <sighs> yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so, how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to her to say master one more time. Wow. Okay. But when. I was poking around with her settings and stuff. I saw that she was a well-designed program. It was like, how can I say? I f it was the first time someone ever talked to me like I was a, with a normal girl. Okay. All right, here comes a sad story, guys. <laughs> She's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even when all I did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. 
<laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Hafumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose. That's the first time a girl's ever said something like that to me, besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing by itself. Wow. <laughs> it's like... That's why I was just so happy. So It was so much fun. Before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even a keyboard? <sighs> I think you might have understood the situation here for me. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego is not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It le exists to learn. Of course, it wanted to hear things it did not know. You were an expert in many things, Shihiro. Could not ever talk could not have taught it about for what it's worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That is all. <clears throat> I know that. I know. I mean, I do know that. But still, are you saying it's totally hopeless? You gotta be freaking kidding me. F you. Okay. Hi, Taka. Hey, you jerks. I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on a wall about whatever. Yo. Oh, Taka, you're back. Who the hell is Taka? Huh? Well, you. <laughs> Listen up to me. Listen up. I'm me. Got it? What Who's the me? heck? Uh, you're who? What? Don't you bullcrap me. Isn't it obvious? I'm Taka and Mondo. So, like... Hi, Mondo? I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. What the... What, what? what is going on here? I am confused. I am confused now. Like, completely, utterly confused. What the... What the heck kind of fusion is that? Oh! What happened to you, Taka? Actually, I never... I told everyone what happened the day before. Well, then. So because of what Alter Ego said to him... Um... Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh -huh. Okay, here goes the hero with the ghost thing. There's no such thing! <laughs> What are y'all whining about? Come on! What? Gosh, you really cheesed and off me off. What? Hey, I'm Fumi. What? Yeah. yeah! I don't know what you're thinking, but... F you! The world belongs to me! Huh? Huh? Yeah! Alter Ego is exactly a copy of the one who gave me the, my soul back. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let anyone have him ever again. Bridging idiot. Mm. I'm afraid mm -hmm. I can't allow that. What? So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since you're since I have the opportunity, let me say this right now. That's it. Destiny is sure me and her together of the Gordon knot of true love. <laughs> well, me and him have been melted together in white hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on guys. <laughs> Moron, talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into your four vital points. Completely unforgivable! They're just going at it, guys. What in the world? Well, I punch at the speed of sound. Okay. Y'all, you just need to chill for a bit. Both y'all. And I don't have an, any arm hair, so there's no trap. Let me read this one more time. Well, I punch at the speed of sound. And I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag. Enough already. Thank you, Kyoko. Knock it off, both of you. Because they're talking nonsense right now. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to the vital clue. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey! they'll have to deal with me. Oh, okay, yeah, Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. Super Saiyan Sakura. What? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you're both silent now? Anyway. Until all three goes finished with his work, I don't do anything weird. I haven't made myself clear. So? I can't hear you. I. Yes. Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then. Let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure you're okay with letting me off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. Okay. After watching Fumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. I know my reading kind of sucked back there, but trying to read those words and my brain trying to figure out what the heck was going on. Was it's a battle itself. 
Mm-hmm. It's still morning, but because of everything that happened, I'm really tired. I'm tired already. Well, anyways, I have to just pull myself together. What should I do the rest of the day? Free time! Yeah, let's go! Hey, dude. What's up? <laughs> it's like... Okay. Yes, did you need something? I don't have business with me. Please leave me alone. Yeah, I should hang out with him. He's a little depressed. Um... Are you trying to turn me up? <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I'm just really exhausted. No, 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 Andre, don't lie. But I do appreciate it. It's nice having a friend to check up on you. Yes, true. <laughs> I spent some time with you, Creamy. Oh, I don't even get a choice. <laughs> Every minute I grew a little closer today. Yes. What you like to give him? I know exactly what I'm going to give him. I got something from the thing that I think he would, ri would really like. There we go. Demon Angel Princess figure. He would love this. Mm -hmm. I never imagined you'd want to give something so rare to, to Mr. I never imagined you'd want to give me something so rare, Mr. Nagy. My deepest thanks to you. Super heart, god level heart. Result. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see quality in you, Mr. Naegi. True quality. Mr. Naegi! And that's why I've decided to present you with my lecture on the nature of fan fiction. If we're going to be friends, you must be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic biotry whatsoever. I don't think I have any fan fiction bio biotry. I don't know what that means. I mean, I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyway. See? There it is. To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But that is all one word. But that... But is that all that word is worth? Huh? Did, you say, did I say something wrong? <laughs> but that's okay. Because I could take the word geek as a compliment. For you, see, there's nobody on Earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Yes, indeed. That's true. In a sense, a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. A successful musician must necessarily be a music geek. A good movie director should be a movie geek, you see? For those experts, those geeks are who open up the world to others. So that is when I say fan, when I say that writing fanfic is geeky. That's it, You're recognizing I'm sure of it. Me, You're recognizing us as a true expert. Okay, so um, what exactly is fanfic? Here we go! Oh, super direct question! Mm -hmm. Basically, all we, have, we have all different kinds of stores and events, right? These are where groups of holy warriors see all, sell all their stuff based on games, comics, anime, and everything. And the stuff those people make is fanfic. <laughs> comics are the most common creation, but it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's a name mm -hmm. for when a group of fanfic creators come together. So special, especially it any organization or group that comes together to release their work. Group work. Circle? Da, 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 da. Okay. It's true. Of course you knew that. I mean, you're the only common sense. <laughs> Certainly you, know, you don't expect me to explain much common sense topics every time. Well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. Without a doubt. This goes well beyond I don't know too much. Mm -hmm. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that in the fanfics and baths today. By the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy some premium passes to the Nens fa fanfic con. <laughs> right? Obviously he's excited, but... <laughs> That's it for the day. I hope you're excited to go to your next session. I hope you're okay, dude. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for the two of us. I'm kind of scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. Alright, do I get a skill? I do, handiwork. Nice. After we're done, I decided to head back to my room, because that's what I always do, Makoto. <sighs> but it's nighttime, so. Alrighty, nighttime! <laughs> Thank you, bye bye! Ah, oh, morning. <sighs> Refresh my voice here. If I can push the button, there we go. Mm. 
Good. Good morning. I'm ready to get to the dining hall. Like always. Man. Two days in a row. No motive talk. Ah, peaceful school life. But every third day becomes a murder. So far, that's how I'm getting it. Oh! Taki and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko is still in guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taki. Damnation! Might as well forget about that guy. So, um. You don't have to get him mad. You know? The rival's in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me in the same level as that, that virgin. Oh. Gee! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I didn't know that, but I guess I do now. I don't know. I might catch his virginity. But. Nah, I guess you're. <laughs> nah, I guess. Nah, my guess is that you're already infected. Huh? Wait, you could really. You know, just. You just need to think before you start talking. You can really catch that. She, this girl really just said that right now. <laughs> Stop being mean to eat breakfast. <laughs> okay. You all can't catch it if y'all are wondering. <laughs> but as soon as, you, <laughs> as my hands approach my food. Uh oh. Murder on the loose. <gasps> That voice! The doors of the dining hall exploded open and the figure appeared. <laughs> Morning, Jill! So in the end... It is you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking me why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep! I'll give you a hint. If I follow them. Uh -huh. I'm, wearing wear I'm wearing red lingerie. Oh, okay. She's wearing red lingerie. Huh? Nice. I don't think he, anyone wanted to know. Huh? Hold on a second. You! Huh? Huh? Mm hmm? Have you reached that certain age? Okay. What's your top power level? Like 35, 22, 33? You're starting out big on top and trying to look thinner down south? You SOB! Look at your melons. They're seriously gargantuan. Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? She oh. is obsessed. With her body right now. Like, I... You're starting to freak me out. You're starting to freak me out. Why are you no obsessed forgiveness. with her? I thought you like... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Maybe she's into girls, too. Maybe, maybe Genocide Joe's five. Yeah, I don't know. No shame. <sighs> if you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. <sighs> So, what do you want? Surely you're not here to for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear her sto hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about it right now. What? Why not? Huh. Because of a certain circumstance. <sighs> Up till now, you haven't been giving a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. It's all clear now. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed you, read your body to the vultures. <laughs> what kind of mess of dictator are you? What? But isn't that a democracy, or would you like to exclude those who don't fit into your little tri tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing, tell me what's going on with Taka. I saw him yesterday and happened to notice something that seemed off, so I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand the environment? Those men who clothed themselves in cheap fabric and justice were often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that'll make things a little bit more interesting. Interesting. Such ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false moderates. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came to give us some amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant you one desire and leave myself. Mm, yes! Yeah, yes. let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. <laughs> yep. You don't have to play so hard to get mastered. You can just play hard. Oh, wow. Hm. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. It does make sense. 
You just not thinking what I'm thinking. The Oculus are slowly backing out of the room. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> go, go with the Oculus. In fact, I'm glad you have a stock of the Oculus because you're a jerk. And no one likes you. He's starting to pick up speed and as soon as he was sprinting down the hallway. What the fuck? What? Oh, he freaking ran. He didn't just like leave. He ran away. So now he's running hard to get. I see. <laughs> This is what he gets. Um. So in the end, there, what was all of that about? Uh, um. Because now Biakuo was like, um, maybe he's just a mean guy who starts acting different and gets all flustered when things get changed. Hmm. I guess so. <sighs> Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and went back to our rooms. This game. Oh, what should I do today? Another free time day? Okay, this is just free time central to this episode. Probably night time. Oh my gosh. Huh? There's something one by my door. Something. Oh, there's a name there. Piece of paper looks like someone must have slipped under my door. Meet in the dining hall. Right, I'm go to oh, okay. He wrote a wife. What's going to call me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Are we going, I guess? The area? Yup. Summoning. Oh, is Yo! Good. Hey, Makoto. You hear out? With the letter I found in my room. You know? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really hmm. nice. Well, I was always taught if you had bad penmanship, the ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? Why don't you want to come meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I was just... I just did what Kyoko said. Kyoko? Actually... I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyways, what do you say a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, no, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder and pulled me close and whispered in my ear. You're serious? It's all an act. So the southern mask man won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then... Did Alter Ego finish his search? You got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. It's probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero heard each other dressing room. Hero's stupid, but at least he's smart enough to know when to, you know, be incarnado. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you! Hey, you! How long have you been going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritating voice pierced the air and he started pointing at, at his restaurant. Ah! It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all you little boys and girls. <laughs> Shut up. What? What did you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Taka seems to be worse than off than I've heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow personality. Oh! <laughs> Jeez, what? You got a lot of poop falling out of your mouth of yours. You know that? that what rude. the heck? It maggot like he has no right to speak that way to the heaven sent master. Oh! Oh, are you back to normal, gloomy self? Can I hardly keep up at this point? True. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, come well, on. Anyway. Anyway, everyone's here, right? Then let's the messenger duty is complete. Hey! You want us all to meet here? Why, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious we got something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right! Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? A mastermind to identity? No, nothing. Okay. Well, what'd you find? It's gone. It's gone. I came here a little earlier to check up on things. And that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh. Obviously not. Huh? Um, well, she's gone. F you! You can't freaking be serious. You. What do you do with him? Hmm. Wasn't the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we're up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone didn't recognize it here. If it was a mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it. However... I was in a laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I could have heard it. But 
If it wasn't the mastermind, then <laughs> the solution is particularly Mr. Particularly mystery is obvious. It could only have been him. Without a doubt. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? What? I'm the oldest moral compass. I would never do something like that. True. He wouldn't steal. No matter if his attitude or personality changed, the ultimate moral compass in him would follow the rules. To a T. F you. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a dirty sack of fat. <laughs> Oh, these characters. They make me laugh. Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more ten- Okay. Oh, he's making a Dragon Ball Z reference. Damnation! Or wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Yeah! Wrong, it's you. We're serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you who did it. It's just her you can confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So... I told Dr. Ego to yell if either Taka or Kumi came to the dressing room. What? What? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of us might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard him yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't him. But... Then who was it? So that's... Then the it. fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Makoto Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, and myself, one of us must be the thief. Okay, so as he lists the names perfectly in the sentence, thank you so much, Diakua. I doubt, I doubt I did it. So Celeste, Sakura, Hina, I don't think Hina did it. She's not manipulative, so it's kind of like, well, I, there's no reason for her to take it. So, Celeste, Sakura, Toko, and Byakuya. 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 Byakuya's already fooled once with the crime scene, so I, it is highly plausible he might have taken it. But I don't know the reason for it, other than us hiding that information that we found something important from him. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to sell off Ego? Exactly. She's, it's not her. How about for this reason? There's a traitor amongst us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the Mastermind, a spy. And that is one who sold off Ego. Can you deny that possibility? It, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking of some time now that there might be a spy among us. The Mastermind brought someone to help the things move smoothly. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. In the, in the end of the... After Mondo got destroyed, that little section before it, the episode ended, the Monokuma was talking to someone from the group that was so-called the spy, or, you know, I don't know who it is, but we're gonna find out. The spy for the Mastermind, a traitor. No, that's impossible. Something that horrible? There's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you stuck in silence to your innate inadability? To comprehend such a possibility? Say what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care who. Someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it. Same here. How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of feel... Get how they feel. At the very I least. I think Alter Ego is most likely safe for the moment, at least. Yes. Yeah. If they wanted to destroy it... They would have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So, you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else. Damn it! Does, that doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. <laughs> no matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. It's my promise as a man. I swear! I swear I have I to save her! Save her. Save her. Love. Okay, well... Our chances of finding anything about the school mystery is gone. Hmm. Good night. Okay, it's night. Hmm. it's night time. There is nothing to be done. This is uncomfortable. Or this is unfortunate, but we have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone let's get some sleep. <laughs> How can I be so casual? Do you have any time to waste around? <sighs> what good are you if you're too tired? You will be more effective after a good night's sleep. True. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. 
What do you think, Makoto? I, I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice and we won't get anything done. Taka and Fumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, for just for tonight, you can try to endure it. <laughs> yeah, because if you start running around, guys, the mastermind is, is definitely going to know something's up. Even if the mastermind clearly didn't take the laptop, and one of them did, like one of the people in the group, the mastermind will figure it out. Okay, then let's part for today. We will begin our search for all the ego in the morning. <laughs> And you should think about what I said. Someone may as well be a spy for the mastermind. That is also a possibility. Yes. Walter Ego, done as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and I couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then we were that when that hope was taken away, despair, just like that. Just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then could it really be true? Whoever saw Walter Ego could really be working for the mastermind. If that's true... No, it can't be! There's no way! I didn't even realize that I yelled out loud. The scary thing is I had... isn't an idea that someone's spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Dang it! I threw out myself into bed and trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell asleep or fell into a restless sleep. Alright. Jeez. I think we're good for today, huh? Morning comes. Today, yeah, we have to look for Alter Ego. First thing first, let's go to the dining hall. Yay. I found myself surprisingly in high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. Then we found out what was waiting for me there. Gosh, what? Oh no! Someone died in the dining hall? Oh. Hmm. What he, whenever he says that before he just sees what happened, it freaks me out. What is it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall, Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So, including me, only four people. Hmm. Gosh, why is it so... Why I hate people to take a sweet time on everything. However... Anyway, let's wait a while longer for the others. Okay. So we decided to wait. In case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited. Okay, well, no one's um, gonna show up. It's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here for a full hour. Mm -hmm. Why haven't the others come? Because, I mean. Hero and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Mfumi and Taka. They're more eager than anyone to go look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened, huh? It would seem. I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There's no way something could have happened eventually. Monokuma's motive. Oh okay, yeah, all that money? Ten! I've prepared this grad for Yes, we, we know the flashback. Don't tell me someone did something for money. That That's what I wanted to say, but it didn't bother. I already understood. I understood that I hated that I did. You could never really know someone completely. Anything that can happen here, you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go looking for the people who never showed up. Mm. True. Okay, let's get track them down. Without another word, we left and dying hall. Okay, someone's hey. probably dead. Okay, what, Kyoko? We need to go. And cover more ground if we split up. Yes, exactly what I think a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Sakura, go check the dorms. Make sure to check all the rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second. Okay. Okay, then I'll go check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risk. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well, then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went their separate ways. Without hesitation, I rushed to the first floor of the school. What? We I am on the first floor, bro! What are you talking about, you rush? Um. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh, that sc that scream scared the heck out of me. That scream was so live. Lee in my headphones. All right, what? That was Hina. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. 
I had no time to think. I was running to the stairs before I knew what was happening. Oh, jeez. Hina, I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. What, Hina? <laughs> Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room was open. And when I looked inside, I saw... Did you see? I better tell the others, right? I'm gonna go get them. You go ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room, what did you see in there? By this point, I was... I was used... To acting without thinking, so without thinking, I went into the rec room. Oh no. The first thing I saw when I got into the rec room was. Oh. <gasps> oh. Celeste, someone beat you up? Did you fall and scrape your face? Like, what happened? It was Celeste. She was hurt. That's why Hina screamed, because. She's... What's that right there? What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. Justice hammer? Is that what it says? There's something written, written on it. Oh. Justice hammer one. Ah! How? That's not like she actually hurt. That was a hammer that he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. And now I curse the lack of my daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice hammer one? Don't tell me more, Celeste! Ah! Makoto, Celeste, what happened? Oh. I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by who? Ah. I'm not sure, some sort of strange man. A strange man? Oh. A suspicious person who exists... Existence is so unusual. I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. Makoto, Celeste! Oh. Okay. I found Sakura. What? Sakura's about to beat someone up. <laughs> so, so what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some sort of strange man. Mm -hmm. Strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. <sighs> well, I woke up this morning a little before 7. Night time was not over yet. But I knew about it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. Which, breaking the nighttime rule, as you were clearly saying to everyone else not to do. Go on, Celeste. I'm surprised no one said that to her, because I definitely would have after she kept saying that to everyone who has. Well, I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyways, that was where I saw the strange man. I was immediately wary, wary of him. It was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him as in a secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap of the door, which is when he noticed me. And <sighs> that's when you were attacked. <sighs> it happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, <sighs> then that was just when, about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. <sighs> that attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But... Well, I'm glad you weren't hurt too badly. <sighs> that is because I begged and groveled my, for my life. Mm -hmm. okay. As for me... I told him I would do anything to spare me. I would offer to lick his boots or whatever it took. I see. Oh, so you were willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill of survival. Anyways, it is an important thing now that you go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could be, become a serious problem. <laughs> True. Celeste is kind of weird when she said her that survival thing because she doesn't look like the type to beg for her life. I don't know. That's just, that's like not her personality. But who knows? Maybe there's another side of her that we just like the poker face side. Like she's really fragile inside. Like a little girl. I don't know. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? Okay. When I looked into the record, I saw that suspicious man was not alone. He had he had with him and foo me. Okay. After he attacked me, he dragged and foo me away. What? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. You didn't say anything about him foo me being with you or you seeing him or anything. You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... When was this? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste. Did anything in particular stand out about the strange guy? Uh. Anything stand out? Well, 
Rather than trying to explain it, here's probably faster if I showed you. Showed us. Indeed. Listen, Fumi, hand me down his digital camera. Yes, you don't mean. Actually. I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let me see. Oh, good. I would... I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would be no good. With a strange comment in mind, and he looked at the camera. What? Huh? Well, we were definitely right about strange part. The face totally covered. Huh? Is that a robot costume? Oh, good. As I said, it's very strange, suspicious individual, yes. It's so weird robot guy driving through me away. Okay. I took it right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago? Which is why if we don't hurry, it would become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there's is much I do not understand, but hmm. at this point the point is someone dressed like a like that and dragged him through me away. And it happened over an hour ago? Just a second! This is bad. We have to hurry. Plus, do you know where the mis mysterious man went? Let's see. When I left the rec room, they headed left. He's lying right now. Celeste is lying right now. Because she's contradicting herself right now. She can't be passed out for an hour and know exactly where they went at the same time. So which one is Celeste? Why are you lying right now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I see. If that's true, they were headed down the stairs leading to the second floor. Then they must be down there, right? Mm. The second floor, that's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Well, speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I didn't have time to look for her. This is bad. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry, Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we were all rushing to that rush down to the second floor. Yes, let's go. Hey, you two! What? Oh my gosh. What do you want, boy? What's going on? What's all the fuss? What? 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 Yeah, what y'all playing a game or something? What are you saying? Doesn't look like we're playing a game. Listen, either of you seen Kyoko or Kikumi? You gotta be kidding! Nope, nope. Sure haven't. <laughs> are you? Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar and came running. Uh -huh. We came here together. Stop talking. No, we're just. You're just stalking me. Anyways, you can help us look for them. What? <laughs> Why? What happened? <sighs> There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Don't fool me, Kyoko. If you hear me, say something. Wow, they're not going to do that. The voice that echoed down the hall in vain. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did you hear something? Oh, jeez, mm. that scared me. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library, let's go. <laughs> they all right to the library. That's their likes and carry us. When we open the door to the library. Oh! <laughs> it hurts. It hurts! We found him filming seriously in here. Are you okay? Um... I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> it's super bad though. Look at all this blood. What? Did you get hurt? <laughs> Obviously, but... You know, whatever. The guy hit me. Oh, <laughs> Robo justice, sir. That's what I decided to call him just now. What, what did you say? What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, look, another hammer. What does this one say? It's a hammer just like Celeste that one that attacked. Was it's a hammer just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. This one is just this hammer, too. And on top of that, it was ac actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with this hammer and bumped me right in the head with it. Wow. A hammer that big, I'm surprised you're still like, okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Hey. Po protein helps heal wounds, you know? Would you like some? <laughs> I've never heard such a thing. Are you sure is it just you? I am for me. <laughs> that guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you're referring to, this is is this, is it not? What oh, the hell am I picture. looking at? Okay, exactly. This is one of that attacks less than Fumi. 
Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, that's him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. It can't right. be. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. <laughs> hey, oh. Oh, it's him. <laughs> hey, Robo Justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> He's just having a good day. What? That's all he wanted to say. Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us this? not concern ourselves with him. We need to... What to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Anyone else? Whatever else we do, he needs to, to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah! Yeah, you're right. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. What about you, Celeste? You probably need to get treated, too. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Hmm. How you feeling, Fumi? You wanna take a look at you? Um, I'm okay. I just I think I stopped bleeding. I just feel kinda dizzy though. So Perhaps then, we should rest here for a while. I yeah, good idea. Well then. The rest of us should go back and look for that mysterious assailant. Yes, indeed. indeed. Before another victim appears, just this hammers seem to be increasing by size. First one, now two. So in other words with this Justice Hammer three, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. Oh! If you got it hit with anything bigger, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Fumi. Um... Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead with everyone else. I went to the third floor and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must have been when I witnessed the around seven this morning. Wow. After that he dragged me to the library and whack came down with a hammer. It must have been like 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. Around 7.30, in other words, we should have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I, all together, with Kyoko, sit with us. So we all have alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear is as black as pitch black darkness as black as night. What? Okay, I'm surprised I said that. I don't even know if I said it right. I'm surprised I could say it like that. How, wh why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. Of course she was. Anyway, so that means Yakuya and Toko also at, were together at the same time. Meaning they also have alibis. The only person who don't have alibis is when it's less than infamous. Who were The only two who I haven't seen yet. Hiro and Taka. And that's it. Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um. Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. She's probably doing her own thing like she's been doing this whole game. Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She disappeared, huh? Oh, what a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I expected. But hold on. Kyoko was with us in the dining hall and Celeste and Fumi were attacked. So hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked him. Huh? In other I'm words. I'm referring to what I talked about last night, who was a mastermind spy might be. Are you are you saying Kyoko working for the mastermind? That's not possible. What? Isn't it? This woman who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey! Save the discussion for later. Right now we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay! Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's gonna be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't showed up yet. She's right. We have to do something about the mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys and I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Man, that was a lot to say. Hold on. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoever's running around, why do they wear in that strange costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for a reason for the event. What to do? What to do? So, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? <laughs> Our option is very da- Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of. Even here. What? Why is that face for? What? Yeah, what's wrong? Okay. I saw a shadow, something move around the top of the stairs. Oh, oh really? Oh. <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> oh, Cyan Sakura, on to the rescue. She's gonna bowl up those stairs, watch. Up on the second floor then! You bastard, you won't get away from me! I knew it. <laughs> she shot up the stairs. My girl. Okay. He must have been around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Well. I don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, we'll call out and come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we yell? Just a second. Anything. It doesn't matter. So then. then. Just, ah, okay. What are you saying? Ah, uh, Doya, or whatever you want. Just yell something. We can hear you. <laughs> oh, Doya? 
I have never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Robo, where are you hiding? Don't come out. If you don't come out, I'm gonna discommi discommission you. Gosh, these characters, I swear. I spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh. What the hell was that? That strange cry. It had to be Celeste. That did not sound like Celeste. We came to a floor above. She's on the third floor. Let's run it up the third floor. Everyone. Over here, everyone. Everyone who heard the scream came running. Just a second. Lex, what's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. Exactly. Okay. I saw him, the strange foxy man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was walking the stairs, so he headed further down to the hallway and disappeared. He must have downed this hall. Come on, let's go. Hi. What is it now? Oh my gosh, really? Huh? Huh? It's really true. Hmm. But that doesn't matter right now. No! Him fool me! Huh? What was that? <laughs> Come on, downstairs. We must have. Him fool me. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, let's go back. What? What about the suspect? We're all going to trouble capture him, right? Hmm. Then why don't we split up in two groups? It's all clear now. I'll leave the hunt party. That seems all. More interesting. So then. Very well. Then Makoto and Hina come with me to the nurse's office. We will leave the capture to the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Byakura. So then. Well, I'll handle it. Just take care of Kumi. Okay, you guys, be careful. Two spoilers in groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina ran down the stairs to the first floor. Just a second! To the nurse's office! Let's go! Alright, let's go. What's wrong? We stormed to the nurse's office and agreed it was one of the world's dripping crimson. I'm done. What? He was he was going up the stairs, right? He wasn't going down. She said he was going down the hallway. Wow, hold on. Everything was covered in red. Jeez. And the center of it was of this red was Fumi. No! Oh. What? It looks like the... something really bad has happened. No shit. <laughs> no, really. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that him okay. would be murdered. No way! Murdered! You're not serious, are you? He's, he's not really dead, is he? He is. All that chase. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like. What the? <laughs> that was a body discovery announcement. Body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after the murder, that's when it plays. And since we just heard it, that means... <sighs> it must mean Hinfumi. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us. <sighs> and the... Look at... I mean, look at that. Once Celeste said he pointed to something on the floor. It also has been on the floor after the last few surprise attacks. Another justice. Oh, it can't really be, can it? And Fumi is. Anyways, before anything, I have to confirm what I saw. Yeah, the the hammer. Another hammer. Just hammer three. It's even bigger than the other two. Okay. Just as expected. One strike from that, and you're finished. Then the killer. Can be no doubt a suspicious individual. Going from what Hifumi called him, the culprit must be just, but we're justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume was the one that killed Hifumi. But wait, I saw him on the third floor, right? Running back in the hall. Exactly! How did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying, like, he teleported or something, Are right? you okay with this? We can figure out that part later, right? Now we have to tell the others. Right. So then Shall that. we go? <sighs> you know, snap out of it. Huh? Huh? Are you okay, Hina? I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm just not sure if I can move right now. I feel kind of sick. Mm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. <sighs> Very well. I'll leave to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I try to sound confident and upbeat, but 
I still hadn't stopped trembling for what I just went through. Everyone else is already on the third floor, I have to hurry. This is where everyone was chasing him. So a suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Down the hallway. He ran off going any further down the hallway. He'll be back to the hallway. Alright, everybody, this is intense, but I don't have to end this episode off here. It has been recording for quite a long time. I don't want to stretch it out any further because I think we are going to go and investigate what happened to him, Fumi, who Jobo Justice is, and I'm super excited for the next episode. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for coming and watching me play this game. Thank you for your comments and support. Subscribe to join the Wolf Pack. Leave a like on this video. That's everyone knows on. That lets YouTube know that y'all like my content. Without further ado, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.